Hey, Steve Zook, welcome back to Poke Sue Channel and the Guitar Letter System. Hey, I want to talk about not being so predictable, not marrying uh, a genre of music, the, the same, and, and having an element of surprise to what you write. And if you play guitar and you love guitar, don't let being a writer or composer scare you. It's a, it's a natural progression, a natural process of loving to play guitar. Why bother doing something if you're not going to let it be creative and, and kind of give birth to your musical ideas, you know? So don't look at it as, as a pressure thing or a self-esteem thing or anything. Just, you know, if you're going to play guitar, come up with some ideas that are yours. It's, it's a, I mean, what a beautiful thing that maybe you put together some things, whether it's just a few chords in a certain way or a single note line or whatever, that you come up with something unique that maybe has never been done exactly that way before. That's, it's a beautiful thing. And, and I was just watching an interview with Sting with Rick Beato, who's a really knowledgeable person. And the same thing came up, you know, I mean, Pat Metheny says the same thing. Great, really great composers and artists, you know, you, you need to have an element of surprise. So much music sounds the same. And, and I see this in a lot of other people out there that teach guitar too. They have a bunch of stuff but when you listen to them play, everything sounds kind of predictable, kind of the same type of thing that's been done a million times before. I don't know. I, I think, you know, like I, I wish the best for everybody, but, and maybe my guitar ladder system isn't for everybody, but if you want a fresh take on things, you know, if you want to be, and, and it's really important not to marry a genre, by the way. If you marry a genre, you're very, uh, very limited musically. Uh, I write, I, a lot of people seem to want to categorize me as a jazz player, but I, I do some kind of Michael Hedges acoustic stuff and altered tunings. I do some kind of uh, flamenco -y, flamenco -y stuff. I do a lot of different kinds of music. I'm a composer. I, I think of myself as a composer, and, and even like Pat Metheny said, it's all about you know improvisation. But um, if you really want to grow as a musician, go to stevesookguitars.com, invest the $1.99, and get yourself that foundation so you can come up with something that's you, that's unique. And, and you don't have to be a technical virtuoso to do this, by the way. Uh, I've had students that, that you know weren't they were intermediate level players but they came up with some really, really cool stuff. But it's also about saving time. I mean, you know, if you're gonna spend, if you just spend, you know, time oh, learning a blues lick here or a rock lick here or a certain type of two, five, one or one, six, two, five, and if that's all you learn, you're really, you're really not gonna take much of a quantum leap. But if you learn the 10 systems of improvisation and you learn a system that opens up your musical ear, creates a musical ear, creates a musical mind, which is what the guitar ladder system does for only one ninety nine, thousands of dollars of information for one ninety nine. Highly suggest you order it. Don't overthink it. Just go to go to stevezookguitars.com. Order the guitar ladder system. I do not send it all at once. It's a hundred studies chart and video with each. Do not send it all at once. It's not effective, by the way. And you just hit me up every every couple of weeks for another study. Uh, one of, and, and what you listen to is going to have a big effect on how much you grow. If you really want to you know, be the best guitar player you can be and, and, and give birth to some of your own musical ideas. Listen to Joe Pass, piano player Bill Evans, Michael Hedges, J.S. Bach, you know, some flamenco. Uh, Bach kind of sets the stage. I mean, because you can take the idea, you can have kind of a classical or Bach approach, like if you do something like... Coming down like that's more right as opposed to you know maybe doing a melody. Well, see now that I'm thinking. 
Bach, it's kind of, I'm kind of filtering that out, but do you see the point I'm making, Lars? If I do a melody, let's see. That's nice, but when you start going down, going down arpeggio, My point just being is that if you want to really be the best musician, let, don't marry a genre. You got to learn to have an element of surprise to your music and you come up with your own unique kind of harmony. Are, are you going to use things that have been used before? Well, of course you are. You're going to borrow ideas that other people have used. I mean, I've learned a lot from Joe Pass, Pat Martino, George Benson, Paco de la Thea, Michael Hedges has been a huge influence, um, J.S. Bach, a huge influence. And like I said, there's a lot of stuff out there, even guitar teachers, where everything they do sounds kind of the same, you know, and they have bits and pieces of this and that and this and this, but they're not leading, they don't have a path that leads to really expanding your musical ear and ex expanding your understanding of improvisation. And it's about, it's about, ex you'll make the most progress if you explore music and explore different improvisational uh, approaches, which is what the guitar ladder system does for only one ninety nine. Again, I think this is a good example. I could do something here. That kind of has a similar. Hear how that has a similar sound to. I should say a similar approach. the idea so anyway that's I'm gonna make this a little bit of a shorter video but um yeah you know if you really want to if you really want to have more joy out of playing guitar don't marry a genre don't limit yourself don't think oh I just want to mess around I'm, you know and don't don't just learn about this or a blues lick or a rock you know try to open you oh, try to open your mind up to understanding there's a big broad you know, musical cloud, so to speak, of, of knowledge. And it's, you know, you want to explore the guitar, explore music, explore improvisation, and open up your musical ear and create a musical ear and a musical mind, and then begin to come up with your own unique ideas. You don't have to be a virtuoso, technically speaking, to do this. I've had students that were intermediate level players who've been working with me on the guitar ladder system, and they're coming up with some really cool ideas that have some uniqueness to it. Um, like I was listening to an interview with Sting today and he talks about having a little surprise in, in what you're doing. In other words, don't just do the same old approach and the same old thing, have some freshness to it, you know. This is a great guitar, by the way. It's a Marcario. say for today make this kind of short one and uh, if you really want to grow as, as a guitar player don't marry a musical genre and and you need to build up your musical mind you you got it we, we seed the subconscious mind with the 10 different systems of improvisation in an organic way not with me talking about it for half an hour but every study shows that has is very musical the huge growth comes from chordal work so uh, if any of this makes any sense, you want to kind of get unstuck, 
If you want to, if you want to actually discover your own unique and everybody, everybody has them. It's like saying, no, you don't dream. You know, everybody has unique musical ideas. You have to, you know, believe, believe that. And there's no better high on the planet than discovering your own musical ideas. Even if it's just something simple, there's no better, uh, no better high on the planet. And you're not going to do it by learning just this blues lick or just this or just, you need to have, and, and I'll tell you the truth. It is really hard to come up with a guitar teaching system. It took me over, over 20 years. And I studied with Joe Pass. I took a couple lessons from Ted Green. I studied with Horace Hatchett, Horace Ta Howard Roberts. I worked my ass off. But my, my musical chordal studies are almost like meditation mantras. They, they, they roll around your subconscious. They compare and contrast with other studies. And they bear fruit, man. It's like, like you're creating a musical tree that's going to bear fruit. It really works. Go to stevesatguitars.com, invest in 199. You're really going to be glad you did. Just scroll down the home page. Do not have to be a member of PayPal. Invest the 199. You're really going to be glad that you did. And you'll come up with some of your own unique ideas. All right, folks, take care. Let's all keep the positive faith. Let's have a faith day today. Positive faith. Don't try to figure everything out. Trust the universe. Ciao.